Making this decision, making this statement is a very big, bold move. The best goalkeeper in FIFA 19 career mode. And it's all coming up. What's going on guys? It is Golazio. Welcome back to another FIFA 19 career mode video and the start of a brand new series which is called The Best of. This is where I pick the best players in every single position in FIFA 19 career mode. So we go with the best goalkeeper, right back, the centre back, left back, midfield. We pick an attacking midfielder and a defensive midfielder and of course our forwards. And today we are looking at the best goalkeeper. And just before I tell you how I pick them and why I look into to give you the best goalkeeper to actually sign, make sure you do hit that like button. And of course, don't forget to subscribe so you do not miss a single video of mine. And while you're hitting that subscribe button, of course, comment below right now because my opinion is going to be different to your opinion. Or even if you agree, comment below. Let me know in that comment section the best goalkeeper you've ever signed in FIFA 19 career mode. But I'm going to give you the rules on how I've actually picked mine right now. So when I pick the best of player, I look in several factors. The value. Am I forking out a lot of money to begin with? Also, I look at their potential. Do they have high potential? That's another big thing. And of course, does it take them a while to get to that potential? Am I signing a 59-rated player for them to get the 90 rate if I go, wait, five seasons? I don't want to be doing that. So I look at their starter rating and how long they actually take to grow to that potential. And of course, if they're actually any good in FIFA 19 career mode. So make sure you do comment below right now your best ones. And let's get on into the best goalkeeper you can sign in FIFA 19 career mode. So the best goalkeeper you can sign in FIFA 19 career mode is Miles Savard, the 18-year-old. The Belgian is absolutely incredible. One of my favorite goalkeepers you can actually sign over the last few seasons. He was introduced in FIFA 17 when he was 16 years old. He's now 18 years old, so still a very young age. One thing with this particular player, though, he doesn't actually have the highest potential. He is some does have a potential of around 84 which in all fairness is still very good it's not the worst but it's not the best but considering this right this is the compromise he starts off at 68 rated which in all fairness for a championship a league one or even a bottom end premier league side at a stretch is a very good rating and the best thing with this particular goalkeeper even at 68 rated he is still an absolute brilliant goalkeeper to have in your side. He shows his trait. He shows his ability at that rating already. Miles Savard is only actually going to cost you around £1.2 million, which is ridiculously cheap, and his wage is less than £5,000. So to start off with, you're actually starting off with a very low-value player, a low-wage player, not the lowest rated player because he is going to be around 68 rated to actually begin with. But when I signed him, I signed him in season two and he was already 70 rated. So can you imagine when you put training sessions on him, you play him week in, week out? Because at the end of the day for Benfica, who he actually plays for, he is a substitute. So he isn't starting, he isn't really going to de develop. But anyway, the guy is six foot two. Absolutely incredible height. I think six foot two is probably the minimum there. And some of his standout stats to actually start off with is his diving at 71. His handling is at 65, 63 kicking, 64 positioning, and 70 reflexes. One of the reasons I also picked him is the fact he's generally a good all-round goalkeeper. He doesn't really specialize in one particular area. Of course, diving he's better at than the rest, but he isn't like 80 in it and the rest, he's 60 odd in it. He's a very good all-round goalkeeper. And that's what I think you need for a goalkeeper. You don't want a goalkeeper specializing in one particular area. This is where Mile actually comes in and goes, you know what, I'm an all-rounder and I can actually be a very good goalkeeper. And of course, he has 71 jumping, which is um, a good uh, attribute to actually have. Of course, he has some traits as well. He is a puncher. So if you are coming out for corners, he is a Nessie. You're going to catch it. But to be honest, because he has that puncher trait, he isn't like a normal goalkeeper. He's going to be able to punch out quite far away. And of course, he has a trait of coming for crosses, which is even better. So you know for a fact he's going to get it, win it, and absolutely do brilliant for you. What I actually find with him in-game is that he's a very good shot stopper. 
So he doesn't necessarily catch the ball all the time. If the ball comes to him very easy, he catches it, of course. But when it comes to one-on-ones, he saving and the ball very rarely goes around him. And he parries it a very good position. He also, also always parries it away from him. Usually, sometimes the goalkeepers in FIFA, they just parry it and it goes in front of them. Or it goes through them. Or it isn't strong enough to actually get away. This guy has some really good strength behind him, considering. And, of course, with that 6'2 structure, um, he isn't really going to be beaten in the height in the corners, that type of thing, which is absolutely brilliant. Because sometimes I think if you go below six foot two, you're going to be struggling with your goalkeeper. I think that they ain't going to be specialised unless they are higher rated. Like, but the problem is if you go too tall, then you're not going to do well. My personal opinion: if you are picking a goalkeeper, you need to be between six foot two and six foot four, and I think that's your buffer. I think that's literally the perfect goalkeeper. Anything higher, they can't get down, they can't dive, pop, they can dive, but one-on-ones isn't that good because for some reason, I don't know what it is, but I've just experienced it. Like Lenin, for example, awful goalkeeper, even though he's like 80-odd rated. But the brilliant thing is this guy's straight out of the box, permanently starting 11, and he's absolutely great. But anyway, guys, that was the best goalkeeper you can sign in FIFA 19 career mode. And I want to know your thoughts. Let me know your thoughts in the comment section below of the best goalkeeper you have signed in Cremo because your opinion is going to be different to mine. I want to get a bit of conversation going on in the chat. If you don't want to comment, hit me up on Twitter at uh, Golazio. I'm up on there commenting, replying, and uploading exclusive footage as well. So make sure you do check me out up on there. But uh, I want to mention as well, you may notice this week, I've uploaded on Tuesday, Thursday, and I'm uploading on Saturday. And there was a slight change of schedule due to not be able to make videos. And we'll be back to our usual uh, schedule on Monday with the Blackburn Rovers career model. Of course, Blackburn Rovers will feature this Saturday as well. Transfer opening special. But uh, anyway, guys, I want to say thanks for watching. Make sure you do hit that like button because it means a lot. It supports the channel so, so much. And of course, if you're on New Year, don't forget to subscribe and share with your friends. But anyway, my name's Golazio. And guess what? I'll see you when I see you. Bye-bye, guys.